Hello and welcome to the first of the videos I shot at this year's SMMT test day, a day where motoring writers and YouTubers get a chance to have a quick spin in a variety of different cars. First up, the Mini John Cooper Works Challenge. Right, so I'm now in the uh, Mini John Cooper Works Challenge. So let's start it up, it should make a decent noise. <laughs> From a Mini? No. Right, handbrake off. So I'm not going to talk too much about the uh, prices and so forth because, um, well, Mini normally specs the cars up quite highly, so yeah, not really worth going too much about the prices because I imagine this car is not completely standard. Um, I am going to need to turn the aircon on because it is a really hot day today and it's, uh, the day is young, so yes, it's, um, and the aircon might come on, that's handy. There we go. So it's a two litre engine, it's made to a six speed manual gearbox, but so far it seems pretty pleasant, it's pretty slick. So yes, looking forward to getting out onto the open road, well I say the open road, sort of open road of Millbrook so to speak. Steering's got a nice weight to it, it feels quite chunky. Now the steering wheel hasn't got a flat bottom to it, but I do rather like it all the same, definitely feels meaty in my hands. the performance is pretty meaty as well so this is more of a track focused uh, mini John Cooper works in fact this has got the pilot sport cup 2 tyres on it if you're a bit nerdy in regards to tyres now the chap said to me chap at mini said there's a button somewhere uh, somewhere in here where if I tap it twice the valves open up so I'm gonna have to see if I can try and find that for you guys again because come on why wouldn't you now let me talk you through some performance figures so in terms of power output you're looking at 231 brake horsepower 320 newton meters of torque that means this car will hit 62 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds jesus that's pretty fast and the top speed is 153 miles per hour but in truth it does feel like you can hit 62 miles per hour faster because you're quite low down to the floor 
it just picks up pace effortlessly. It's fantastic. Now I know a lot of people look at look at the modern minis and think, well, you know, it's a bit of a girly car, but this is not. This is by no means girly. This is good fun. Now I don't know how much it weighs off the top of my head, but it certainly doesn't feel heavy. I'm really taking liberties there. <laughs> a bit of wheel spin, well, a bit of, uh, yeah. <laughs> Making the tyre squeal is always a good sign. Obviously, there's a bit of understeer because it's uh, front wheel drive, but it still grips pretty well. Obviously, if the ride is bumpy, you can see I'm sort of being thrown here, there, and everywhere, but I really don't care. Yeah, that rhymes. I'm a poet and I don't know it. Well, I do know it. Right, squeeze the power. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. I'm starting to sound like a excited Churchill. I don't know what's quite going on. Oh, yes. Squeeze the power on the brakes. Not too much. Caught up with an F pace. They're good looking cars, by the way. Oh, <laughs> come on, mate. I'm in a fast mini here. Got 231 horsepower, pal. Oh, come on. Boo. You're ruining my fun. So I've just double checked the price, and I have to be honest, for once, I don't think Mini has added any options onto this one. So you're looking at £32,000, which isn't quite as expensive as, as I was um, thinking. So, okay, it's still not cheap, and you know, you can buy a Focus RS for that kind of money, and I'm sure you know how much I love a Focus RS. But I do quite rather like this as well. But I'm starting to return to base as my short drive is over. But yes, that was an absolute blast. I really enjoyed that. But yes, it's time to head back. See what else I can get my hands on. Hopefully an AMG GTR. But as you can imagine, that car is very popular today. Um, as is the Audi TTRS. That's another car I'm yearning to go into. But again, it's very popular. And yes, see what else is here really. So. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this uh, short video up. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe for many more car obsession videos to come.